Hi, my name's Karen and I work for Cernit, a polymer clay manufacturer based in Belgium, distributed throughout the UK by Clayground. This week's video, we're going to show you how to make cupcakes. Okay, let's make a cupcake. We're going to be making a cupcake that looks like this one, except we're going to be applying some glitter like this one. So these ones are quite large, um, you can use them for pendants or what I've done here is I've done some large charms which can, which can be used to attach to um, bags. You can make them quite small to use for bracelets. So we're going to start first of all making the, um, the base. So I've taken some light brown clay, I've used two strips and I'm going to lightly condition. You'll need to probably to spend a little bit more time conditioning but as this is a quick video we're just going to do it lightly. So just warming in my hands and then rolling into a ball. So there you have your ball of clay. I'm going to start shaping the clay by just pressing and turning on the work surface. And I'm squeezing slightly at the other end. So then I'm going to turn it round and to flatten the bottom, I'm just going to turn it and press it a little bit on the work surface. And there you have your basic shape. And we're going to take a cocktail stick and we're going to make the ridges on the base just by pressing the cocktail stick into the clay all the way around. Just squeezing it again lightly just to put it back into shape. So there you have your, your base and then we're going to add the frosting. First of all, we're going to take some brown clay and we're going to shape into a ball again. And what we want is just like a dome shape that might be just a little bit big so I'm just going to trim off one end and then I'm going to place this dome in the centre of the base pressing down slightly and then I've taken some more brown clay and I've rolled it, the clay into a long sausage well, actually it's more like a worm. You can use an extruder for this but we're just going to roll with our hands. So once you've done this take the end, start at the edge and just wind the clay around the dome. round and round and take the knife and just cut off the end just put that to one side so as you can see it's coming on now so we're going to now make the little flower that I've put onto this one so to make the flower I've got five tiny little balls of pink clay, there's four and here's five so it's just a tiny little bit of pink clay rolled into a ball so you have the five little balls 
there and we're just going to put them together just arrange them so that they're next to one another but you have a gap in the middle I'm going to do it onto this blade so that I can lift it up and show you So there you go, if you can see that, we've got the five balls of pink clay there and then I'm going to take a cocktail stick and I'm just going to press each one, flattening it slightly, making a little ridge. So just with a cocktail stick around each petal. And then I'm going to take some yellow clay. So just a tiny little piece of yellow. Again, rolled into a ball and placed in the center of your flower. I'm going to take the flower Blade, and we're just going to place the flower onto the cupcake. Now we're going to add some glitter like this one. So this is all done prior to baking. So just to help the glitter stick to the cupcake, I'm just going to paint on a little bit of varnish so it's just a clear varnish I'm just going to just randomly just paint over the frosting with the varnish then I'm going to take some glitter this is ultra fine glitter so dip the brush into the glitter Sprinkle the glitter over the cupcake. What I should have done before I put the glitter on actually is to add the head pin. So that's just a head pin. Press down into the cupcake and I've got a jump ring which I'll attach to the head pin. Close the jump ring, place the cupcake onto a baking tray or a ceramic tile. Um, I'm going to bake my cupcake for around 15 minutes, but ovens vary, so just make sure you look at the baking temperatures on the packet. Um, the packet says between 110 and 130 Celsius or 230 to 265 Fahrenheit. I'm going to be baking mine at 130 Celsius at around 15 minutes. So that goes into the oven. And here's one I made earlier. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put a decoration just on the actual cupcake case there and I'm going to use acrylic paints for this so I've got a cotton bud and some acrylic paint first of all I'm just going to add some little dots around and then just to make them look a little bit like flowers just going around the the yellow dots and 
And there it is. There's your cupcake finished. Once the acrylic paint's dried, then you need to apply another coat of varnish just on the bottom. And there's your cupcake.